Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Following their discovery, fans raced to X, formerly known as Twitter, to express their feelings, with one writing, Whoa, her daughter's wedding was missed. Nope, not me. Go, Sandra, ho. A different admirer wrote, Sandra chose to miss her daughter's wedding to play pickleball and eat ice cream even though she's lactose intolerant, really starting to question her decision-making. Next week at 8 p.m. on ABC, see another episode of The Golden Bachelor. With a Hulu Live membership, you can watch the show as well. If not, you can use a basic Hulu account to catch up the next day. The two competitors who were disqualified from yesterday night's rose ceremony are listed below. Another person joked, Welcome to the Bachelor Villain Hall of Fame, and uploaded a picture of Kathy on X. Kathy is so jealous of Theresa, remarked another spectator. She was merely responding to Trista's inquiries. She's coming home, baby. If she solves, I'm not sorry. That CIP is the reason you became the antagonist. There was a sixth commentator. I understand where Kathy's coming from, but like, there's a way to say things nicely girly, wrote a fan, expressing empathy for Kathy. Viewers chastised Kathy for her mean girl actions on X, which was once Twitter. Is Kathy focusing on Theresa, or is it just me? One person commented, she didn't mind at all that Joan was bragging about their kiss. Things are not right. Not Kathy saying, I'm not a villain, when she's going to be in the actual Bachelor Villain Hall of Fame, another viewer mocked. Theresa is too nice, a third hater wrote. Tell Kathy to get over it. You are too beautiful and sophisticated to listen to another woman urge you to zip it. Kathy and Theresa had a conversation about their drama on Thursday's brand new episode of The Golden Bachelor. After Theresa and Jerry Turner clicked, Kathy excused her conduct by saying she didn't like Theresa's haughty demeanor. Fans were shocked when the two septuagenarians' chat turned heated very soon. During their conversation, Kathy advised Theresa to zip it, which upset her, Jerry, and the Golden Bachelor viewers at home. The evicted Bachelor villain was escorted away by Jerry, allowing them to converse further. Kathy said, I am who I am and people either like me or don't, as her car sped off. However, have a look at this. Who is able to refuse this? Rejection is unpleasant. I mean, before I leave, I might set the house on fire. After the rose ceremony, April Kirkwood and Kathy were ultimately dismissed. As they said their goodbyes, Kathy and Jerry gave each other a heartfelt hug. My best wishes are with you, she muttered. I'm really sad to say goodbye, but I have to face the reality. He's found stronger connections, Kathy admitted in a confessional. Exclusive images of the lakeside the suitor once shared with his late wife have been made public by the U.S. Sun. The back of the house has a driveway and two-car garage accessible from the Hudson, Indiana Blocks Roadway. With stunning views, the front of the house is situated across from Big Lawn Lake. There's a second-story porch facing the lake in front of the house. Joey Graziadet, a former corporate sales professional who now coaches tennis, is a resident of Royersford, Pennsylvania, and is well known for her appearances on The Bachelorette's 20th season. He worked in corporate sales following his media studies and communications degree from Westchester University. He eventually relocated to Hawaii and focused his professional ambitions on pursuing a tennis career. Joey identifies as a diehard fan of the Green Bay Packers and an avid stargazer. Gracie Day will compete as the upcoming bachelor in the hopes of finding his lifelong partner. During last night's show, Joey Grazia D made an appearance and assisted in teaching the Golden Bachelor aspirants how to play pickleball. 
Following his instruction, the women participated in a tournament matched in pairs. The tournament was won by Ellen and Kathy. Thursday nights are when the Golden Bachelor airs, with Jess Palmer serving as host. The program begins live on ABC and Hulu Live at 8 o'clock p.m. ET. The following day, you can watch the show on Hulu as well. Gary's close friend Heather stated to the U.S. Sun, he needs somebody who would travel with him. He enjoys taking trips. That's significant because he does spend a lot of time with his daughters and grandchildren. Jerry values his family a great deal. She must also adore the ocean. If he moved here or had the wife move here, I believe it. Whichever way it turns out, that will determine the outcome. He wouldn't be restricted to moving, in my opinion. I hope there is maturity that goes along with this age bracket instead of what we typically see, Heather continued. However, women can be catty at any age. He's a really intelligent individual. He will be all right. The U.S. son was exclusively informed by close pals of Jerry Turner that he will go all the way in fantasy suites. Regarding the overnight dates, Jerry's close friend, who wished to remain anonymous, stated, he's not dead. He'll act in accordance with his moral convictions. It's less about a physical relationship and more about an emotional one. He doesn't engage in gaming. The source went on, he has an open mind. He'll see who he likes by looking into her eyes. He'll be aware. According to Heather Lanning, a friend of Jerry's, he's searching for someone who is outgoing and family-oriented. Jenny Young and Angie Warner were the couple's two daughters, who Turner and Tony welcomed into their lengthy marriage. In addition, the newly appointed Golden Bachelor is the grandfather to Jenny Young's two granddaughters. His determination to find love once more has received overwhelming support from his family. With the support of his family, Turner is ready to put himself out there and find a love that will stand the test of time in his golden years, an ABC Press statement stated. Gary's daughters are thrilled for him to discover love, as seen in a performance advertising video. After falling into a deep outdoor window well, Faith's ex-husband first declined to have help called for him. According to the complaint, the male started having breathing difficulties after several minutes and told the family, on the phone, to call for help. His family described him to be snoring and was no longer communicating a short time later, according to the investigator's account, without mentioning his name specifically. Before getting separated from her ex-husband, Brett Martin, after 20 years of marriage, contestant Faith received the rose for her first impression tonight. On August 13, 2022, Brett, a nuclear chemical operator, passed away at the age of 61 at his Benton City residence. His family had spoken to him on the phone just minutes before he passed away and they had dialed 9 to 1 when the police got at the scene at around 10 p.m. The U.S. Sun has received the coroner's report, which states that Brett had been talking to some family members using fast time when the fall occurred. Theresa, a fellow native of New Jersey, is employed in the financial services industry. In addition to learning everything there is to know about the stock market on her own, she enjoys reading romance novels, gardening, and hula hooping in her spare time. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.